All right, um, so we're going to test the uh, return loss today, see how well matched these things are. So I've calibrated the machine, um, sweeping between 1 megahertz and 1.3 gigahertz. And you can see that my 50 ohm load here is exactly giving us a nice little spot right in the center there. Um, and uh, let's see here, let's go to uh, log mag. And you can see that we're calibrated really, really nice. Okay, um, let's see here. So first of all, we're going to use the BNC, 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 BNC. Let's, is that too many BNCs? All right, let's put that on there and add the load. So we're about at 800 megahertz, we're about minus 20 dB of return loss, not too bad. Uh, we can go to uh, SWR if you want, measuring about uh, 1.2 uh, SWR at 800 megahertz, and it's doing pretty good up to 1.3 gigahertz. It's one SWR 1.4 out there. So let's go to our test subject, which is our RCA RCA connection. Let's put that on and uh, put a load on him. And there you go, it's worse. Um, we're up at about 1.6 SWR at 800 megahertz. Still, still acceptable. And uh, we are at uh, about 1.9, 1.8, 1.8 all the way up there, something like that. We can just show that on a uh, uh, log mag. Yeah, it's around minus 10, not great. And then uh, we can do a uh, Smith chart, why not? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of looping over to 100 ohms there. Uh, something like that. I don't think we saw the other one on the Smith chart. Let's do the other one on the Smith chart. And it kind of loops over the other way. Yeah. Anyway, uh, again, at 800 megahertz, not too terribly bad. Still kind of uh, in an SWR turn loss, minus 10. SWR about 1.6, yeah, not so bad. Go back and check our Smith chart. Things are still right on CALS situation, so there you go. So it's debatable whether these measurements are necessary for a receive antenna. Um, certainly the S21 might be a better judge. Uh, whether you need an exact match or not for receive antennas is up to debate. Uh, but yeah, there you go. 